brothers and sisters, uh, this brother Wes, uh, you know, I'm, I'm driving and I'm uh, picking up my daughter. And uh, it's interesting, I've been meditating and what's interesting to me is the mentality of, of a person or people who have money, a certain amount of money, versus someone who doesn't. And what's interesting, when a person gets a certain amount of, in many cases, a certain amount of money, a certain amount of material things, they will separate themselves and they will think or believe that they're better than the person that don't. It's the society that we live in. You got people who got money, many of them, they think that they're, they're in a different class. They're different, uh, different, different human being, I guess. I, I guess it's like having a, uh, and a uh, supernatural ability. When, when you have money, for some reason, you must be like the, the Superman. How Superman is able to fly everywhere and pick up anything and, and do almost anything except face kryptonite. But for some reason, the person who has, or many people who have a certain measure of money, they're deceived and thinking that they're better than another person. This is why God says the love of money is the root of all evil. The root is what you would do to get it what you would sacrifice, who you would lie to, who you would sell out to obtain it. That's the root, not the money in itself, not the money in itself, but it's the influence, it's the person, it's the individual. Because what happens, and it's a natural thing, money gonna change you. You're gonna change once you get a little bit of money and you're able to do things that you're not able to do physically, buy things and have things, it's gonna change you. And it's going to make you view life. It's going to make you view things different. But the thing that you must understand, but but it doesn't make you better. You might can do better things. You might can have better things, naturally so. But it does not make you better. What makes a person better is when they know the existence and have a relationship with God, with their creator. That's what makes you better. Because when, when, when you know God, when you know his power, when you know his son, then you know eternity. You know about eternity. Uh, you know about uh, beyond limitations. Because God is beyond, beyond limitations. He's a spirit. He's not limited. What he can do is not limited. But what money can do is limited. It can do a whole lot of stuff. One thing that money cannot do, it cannot buy you eternal life, cannot buy you health. It can buy you medicine, it can buy you things that can put you in a place to become healthy. But it cannot buy you health and it cannot buy you a place in the kingdom. That simply comes free. And so the person that, and see the person that doesn't have money or have had to have a certain status, if that person has Jesus in his heart or in her heart and the person that has all the possessions and don't have uh, the Lord in their heart then the person that don't have the money is better off that's better and so those are some of the nuggets that and things that I meditate on and I think about and I observe when it comes to humanity and it comes to the behavior of people uh, when they don't have money versus when they do. And so, greetings. In the mighty name of Jesus.